hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you're all doing good in today's video i'll be teaching you how to cut kumono dress if you are new to my channel you are welcome kindly click on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for you to be notified whenever i upload a new video so that you won't miss out and for those that have already subscribed to my channel i really appreciate you for your constant support god bless you amen if you want to cut your kumono dress you have to fold your fabric into two this way so your fabric has to be on four and you have to measure your vertical measurement this line will be our starting point length of the fabric i will be using is 35 inches 35 inches all together next step I'm going to measure our vertical line i will measure the bust area which is 10 inches so i will mark 10 inches round i'm going to make a straight line i will mark 17 inches for the waistline and the hip is 24 inches the E is 24 inches. Now I'm going to make a straight line. I'll make a straight line on the boss line that I've marked. Then the waist line. And the E line. Next step is to measure the shoulder line. So the shoulder line I'm working with is 8 inches. 8 inches. The neck width is 3 inches. And the neck depth is 3.5 inches. The neck depth is 3.5 inches. I'm going to connect neck width and the neck depth together. The remaining length is 12 inches. So I will be using the 12 inches for the sleeve. Now I will come down by one inch here. So I'm going to connect the one inch to the three inches of the neck depth. So I will connect it together. I'm going to come in by two inches on the bust line. Then I'm going to come down by two inches as well on the same bust line. I'm going to make the horizontal line of the bust. So the bust we are working with is 38 inches. 38 divided by 4. That is 9.5. This is 9.5. Then I'm going to add 2 inches to it for the seam and allowance. So that will be 11.5. 11 11.5. I'll be working with 34 inches for the waist. So 34 divided by 4, that is 8.5. So 8.5 plus 2 inches for the allowance. So that will be 10.5 inches. Then I'm going to make a straight line. After connecting the bust line to the waistline, the next step is to take the circumference of the hip area. So the hip we are working with is 40, 40 divided by 4 is 10. Then we are going to add 2 inches for the same allowance as well. And sewing. We'll be connecting it together as well. We are nearly done after doing that remember we mark two inches inward and two inches down under the bust line so what we are going to do right now is to make sure that you connect the line to join this line here 
our kimono is ready so the next thing for us now is to connect the line down you are going to transfer the measurement of the hip area to the down part you can as well add one more inches for it for ease for more ease you can make it to be 13 or 14 so i make it to be 13 inches so i'm going to connect it now i only had extra one one inches to it for his for more space We are done now with our kimono. Then you come up here. You are going to mark half an inch seam here. So this will be for the seam. Now we are going to cut our pattern out. You can see it is easy to make. You can make it within 10 minutes. So we are going to cut out the neckline after that you are going to cut your shoulder slope Then you come down to the sleeve area, you pull the sleeve out. Then you can pull this side to be able to cut the sleeve area. Hope you are seeing what I'm doing. Right, so since I'm blocking you guys, let me since I'm blocking you, let me take it from down so that you'll be able to see what I'm doing properly. Then you come here. Button. Now I'm going to open it for you now to see. So here is our komono dress. You can see how beautiful it is. So if you want to cut the back of it, all you have to do is to place it on your fabric, on the back fabric that you want to cut. Make sure your fabric is on fold. It is very, very simple to cut. So if you are watching my channel for the first time, what are you waiting for? Click on the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell for you to be notified whenever I upload a new video. I really appreciate you for your support. Thank you so much. Till I see you in my next video. Bye.